Hi everyone, good morning, happy, I think it's Friday. I'm really unsure. Welcome to the Oak and Lamb YouTube channel. My name is Becca Oaks. I'm an owner and craft educator here at Oak and Lamb. And Miss Rachel Langston, the other voice that you'll hear is also an owner and craft educator here. And we're happy you're here. We're happy to be crafting together. Um, does anyone else have this fun, like lull, weird week between Christmas and New Year's where you don't know what the hell day it is. I never know what day it is this week. I don't know like who's working and who's not. So I, you know, I'll hit somebody up and be like, hey, you wanna go to lunch? Wait, oh, oh you're working? Like, I mean, I'm working too, but like, yeah. isn't it like a holiday? Yeah. But it's kind of not like a holiday week. It's weird. It's weird. But I mean, like on top of that, I've had the craziest week ever, which we'll share about not today, a different day. Um, and I, so I really honestly was not sure if it was Friday, but I am happy that I'm here. I told Rachel that if I was going to have a craft fail, it would be today. I've never felt this disoriented before alive. So <laughs> bear with me, friends. Bear with me. I said, Becca, you're a professional. Um, yeah. We'll see. We are making a sublimated pillow today. That's going to be so cute. I saw these like randomly on Facebook or something and they were stupid expensive. And I was like, we can make that. So we're making a little pillow in the shape of Anna's puppy Granger. The cutest. It's going to be adorable. So I'm going to, we're going to jump in because we have a lot of steps today. Uh, we're going to remove the background from this image. We'll pull it into design space, make an offset, cut out our fabric using our rotary blade um, and our maker. If you do not have a maker, because I know we're going to get questions on this, you can use your Explore Series machine and put some freezer paper on your fabric and make a bonded fabric and then cut it out with a fresh fine point blade. Um, so you can easily do that. Cotton especially cuts out really well when it's bonded. Do you remember our friend Logan Stone from the YouTube comments? Yes. He got to return his small sublimation printer and got the big one. Awesome. That's amazing. Yes. Have you opened it and gotten to use it yet? Let us know. Let us know. Sublimation is so great. So good. Um, so I'm using 100% polyester fabric. Well, actually, this might be like 90%. I bought this forever ago and I can't remember. But you can get a bundle of high poly count poly cotton uh fabric at walmart for very inexpensive i did link it for you guys thank you rachel you're amazing so we have a high poly count white fabric i went ahead and printed our image off this is just sublimation ink i did mirror the image cat remind remember to mirror your image <laughs> don't call her out she's been called out she's been called out if carol is here she also went through a phase where she didn't mirror anything so i'm calling her out i don't do it just about the first time every time yeah honestly that's, bad. Honestly. that's what i do yeah I waste a sheet every time. Thankfully, most of the time, <laughs> I, I look at it and notice before I'm putting it like on my Tumblr or whatever. Yes. Kat made a whole adorable, I mean, really, really, really cute Tumblr for her niece. I guess it was for Christmas. And the entire thing, I mean, the color was perfect. The the design was perfect. The images were perfect. And it was all mirrored. <laughs> <laughs> it's honestly, it's heartbreaking. It, it really is. It really is. Um. Okay, so I'm using that. I have my sewing machine. I have my large clamshell press. I have polyfiber fill, rotary blade. I have sewist clips. I, I mean, all the things. It's a lot of things. And I'm sure Rachel has linked basically everything for you. Um, but let's get started. Because like I said, we have quite a bit of time. We're is my computer you, showing for It is. You? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Let me find this image that I'm going to be doing. Um, I grabbed this image off his Facebook because uh, Granger poses really nicely for the camera. And what you want to look for with a photo of your pet is a full body photo. So uh, sitting, standing, whatever, you want it to be full body because if it's cut off, I'm putting my hand up like you can see it. If it were cut off like right here, then it would, you can make the bottom of the pillow like that, but I think it's just cuter to have like, like the whole the free, body. Yeah. Yeah. Free form. So I have this image. I am using, um, 
Adobe's background remover. I do have Creative Cloud since I have Illustrator and all the other fun programs. And so um, they have an amazing background remover that I use all the time. But you can have, there are free background removers as well. BG remover, I think .com is one. Uh, but just, just Google search free background remover. And then also if you have an iPhone, you can easily remove the background. Um, that's a new feature in the OS, the iOS, whatever. Um, and so however you remove your background, do that. But I'm gonna show you how I use the Adobe Express one. So just, oh, bless you, Beckett. You're welcome. Um, remove background, and then I'm just gonna import that photo. Once I find it again here on the desktop. And Maritza, I'll make sure we answer your question uh, maybe in a few minutes when Becca's done. She's wondering why we're not using the big Cricut Auto Press. Oh we'll yeah, talk we'll about talk about that, that in a minute. Um, so I'm gonna upload here. And then it automatically removes the edges. Now you can come in and customize this. You can, if for some reason it cut off some of an ear or a leg or something like that, you can go back in and edit the cutout by pushing that here and then press restore and it will let you restore any part of the photo. Now, you might have issues with the photo if you've picked an image that doesn't, it, it's easier to find photos that have like a blurred background and it removes that background better if it's blurred and is a like very obvious uh, foreground background type situation. Um, so I've just sized her up here as big as possible. I'm gonna press download. And I'm going to save as a PNG with a transparent background. We need that transparent background. So we'll save that, pull it over here onto our desktop. It's gonna tell me I already have it, because I do. And then I'm gonna pull this into uh, Cricut Design Space. Now you can pull this into Illustrator or you can pull it into Design Space. My preference is Illustrator because I'm going to print straight from Illustrator. I have to size it up huge. Um, and then I want to create an offset. However, I know a lot of you don't use Illustrator, so that's why I wanted to pull it into Design Space for you. So let's pull it into Design Space. And I've already put it in here. We'll add it to the canvas. All we want to do is size this up as big as we can pr um, press. Now, we can print 13 by 19 with our sublimation printer. But our press, and I'll answer Marissa's uh, question with, with this comment, our press is 15 by 15. I don't want to overlap my presses. So if I made this like 19 inches long or 18 and a half inches long, then I would have to overlap with my press and I will likely have some shadowing and discoloration. So I wanted to make sure to make it right under 15 inches tall so that it will all fit on that heat plate. Now, Maritza, the reason I'm not using the Cricut Auto Press is because the heat plate is, is smaller than 15 by 15. It's like 10 by 12 or something like that. I can't. Well, I mean, also if we're getting a hair nitpicky, it doesn't give great pressure for sublimation it does projects. Not. Um, Hold on, I want to I want to make sure to give you the correct images because it's not ten by twelve. Or a, auto press for a grand, you'd think it'd give immaculate pressure, but correct. it doesn't. Um, it is. Um, that's the whole thing. I want the heat plate. Heat plate. Fifteen by twelve, so fifteen by twelve, but minus fifteen by fifteen. So yeah. that will be helpful. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, honestly, to be a thousand percent honest, we want to sell our Cricut Auto Press because mm -hmm. I would rather use a clamshell press. I agree. Okay. So back over in Design Space, I have this sized up to 14.97 inches and I want to create an offset like this. So it's very easy. You don't have to have a cut image in order to create an offset. You can use a PNG to create an offset. Just come up here, select how big I want my offset. Now you're gonna want it pretty big because um, you're going to need a seam allowance where you'll be sewing your pillow. However big you make your seam allowance, I normally do mine about a quarter of an inch, especially with a pillow. Um, so just take that into account. The other thing that you want to consider is if you have an image kind of like this one that is, you know, she's got all of her curls right here. This, you, you want this to be as smooth as possible just so that it cuts out easier. So the bigger the offset that you create, the smoother it's going to be. Let's create a bigger offset here so you can see the difference. 
go here. See how much smoother that is? Um, the, the curves and the curls aren't as defined. So that looks good to me. Um, now, when making an offset from a print and cut, yes. the only thing that's weird about it versus an SVG is that it's automatically a print, print and cut, cut image. Yes. yes, that's a great point, Rachel. See right here, this is giving me an error saying it's too too big. Well, it is because it thinks that I want to print and cut. I don't want to. I've so. done that several times yes. and clicked make it and yeah. been like, what's wrong? Yeah. yeah. So you need to come up here under operations where it says print and cut and change it to a basic cut. Just like that. Now we're going to duplicate this by pressing command D. So we have two of them because we need the front and the back of the pillow. And then honestly, I can delete this. I don't need it in here because I can't print it from design space. So I would go ahead and cut this out. I'm going to delete one because I'm only going to cut one. So we'll click, we'll click make it. I'm going to cut it out on my mat. We'll press confirm here, press continue. And then I'm going to connect to my machine and I will select cotton as my material setting and will load in my rotary blade. So let's browse all materials and type in cotton. Select done. You can see it wants us to load our rotary blade, which I've already done. And then I don't have um, a 24 inch fabric mat, so I'm just using a light grit mat. It, it works really well. I'm going to cut some of this off here. Let me unfold this. And um, I'm being lazy and not getting my, my cutting board out. My cutters, filters. Your self-healing mat. That one. When you say cutting board, I'm thinking of cheese. You yeah, know. it's been a long, <laughs> it's been a long day. Um, so I am going to just cut straight on this mat. It's totally fine to do that because it's going to have a rotary blade on it in a second. So I'll just use this rotary blade here, cut down here, and then this is folded over. And so I'll cut the bottom off as well. So give me just a second here. If I were cutting both of these, then I have two pieces that are perfectly sized already, which is nice. And then I'm just going to take some scissors and separate the bottom just like this. So that looks good. I'll grab my brayer and bray this down just so that everything is nice and smooth on here. You can iron this if you want to, but I'm going to be putting in a press, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, and then we'll load this and let it cut out. And while that is cutting out, I'm going to get my clamshell press ready and preheated. Also, I, I like that the clamshell press is not even a quarter of how heavy that Cricut auto press is. That's Honestly, true. that auto press. This is a lot easier to, it is. to pick up. It is. It's only a few pounds lighter, but the way like that one, it's, it's all, so bottom yes. heavy. It's, it's weird. It's like a kettlebell. You're having yeah. like swing a kettle. Yes. A thousand dollar kettlebell. <laughs> Whenever we're picking it up, I'm like, don't drop it, Rachel. These sweaty <laughs> hands, please, Lord, don't <laughs> drop it. So I'm going to heat this up to 400 degrees. Uh, you could do 385. Some of you all like to sublimate at 385. I just always do fabric at 400. Um, and then I'm going to hand cut this out just so that I can get around it pretty closely. It doesn't really matter. It will just help me place it more centered in the uh, fabric here. Logan got the HTV Raw Auto Press. Nice, yeah. We have uh, several members who have gotten that. Logan, did yours come with a Teflon sheet because we have a member who was asking. It looked to me, they posted in the private Facebook group that it came with something similar to this. I don't remember ours coming with that. I don't think but ours But they were did. asking if it was a Teflon sheet. I said it looked like one to me, but let me know, because I'm curious. Those Teflon sheets are so nice. Okay. We have this cut out here, and then I am going to, while this is preheating, I'm going to go ahead and just press one of these 
to get the wrinkles out of it. Logan said he his did come with a large one. Teflon sheet. Yeah. Okay. I just don't remember. I, ours may have. I just don't remember it coming with one if it did. Did you get the blue one or the white one? We, we were a wanted, little bitter. We were a little bitter. We wanted the blue one. <laughs> Turns out I'm very impatient. This isn't heated up enough. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> we only employ the most impatient people here at Oak It's and true. Lamb. If you're patient, you can't be an Oak and You Lamb can't work employee. here or be here. No. <laughs> we like to get crap done around here. It's true. <laughs> People think we're all innovative. No, 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 no. We just cannot be patient enough. In to fact, we have a sign in our bathroom, and it's actually a cut file on the website that says, make shit happen. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was looking over there to make sure my kids had their headphones on. Um, because that's just kind of the way we are. Like, yeah, that's true. Just get it done. Let's do yeah. it. Let's yeah. go. Let's make things happen. Yes. Yeah. Speaking of cut files and membership, um, tomorrow is the last day to take advantage of our sale. Can you believe it's already no. over? Can you believe well, that? I can't. I can't even. That's believe crazy it. to me. Mm, I know. Uh, so if you have been wanting to join the Oak and Lamb membership, do that. Do it today or tomorrow. It's the last forty-eight hours to join using the code Jingle J I N G L E for forty-five dollars off the annual membership, and that annual membership gives you an automatic renewal at forty-five dollars off as well if you use that code. Also, if you've been wanting, I, I am blown away. I feel like more of you all have purchased the Illustrator course than joined the membership. I swear, I think they have. I think so too, and I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, but I wanted to say that if, if you've been wanting to join that, this is the last 48 hours to do that at $50 off too. So, um, grab the, grab the illustrator course. You don't have to have a special code for it. Um, uh, it's $50 off today and tomorrow are the last days. Join that, learn how to create cut files, um, that you are going to use here with your die cut machines, with your laser cutter, with sublimation, whatever you want to use it for. Um, I actually had a um, professional friend text me yesterday. She has a business, she does. She has a huge, very nice, very expensive direct to garment printer and she makes, that's what she does all, all day long is make shirts and garments for people. And she texted and said, can I just thank you basically for um, making good files because there are a lot of files that I purchase from people who claim to be professionals and um, they're basic, the files are basically a nightmare when she gets them. And so I, that just brings up the point, it's very important in my opinion that um, you learn to create cut files from somebody who knows how the cut files are actually used. So you can create graphics all you want. And, and if you don't know how a die cut machine works, if you don't know how a laser cutter works, then and creating those cut files, um, sometimes you're going to have extra extra lines in it that you don't need. You're going to have extra little uh, anchors and points and things like that that don't make sense, or or dimensions are too small and it won't translate well. Um, and so, because I know what kind of cut files you need, I feel like me as an educator, it just makes sense for you. Um, also, so. I don't know if Becca touched on it while I was replying to comments. Maybe, probably, <laughs> maybe, but. Becca herself has purchased a couple of cut files here and there to test different oh things. Oh, my gosh. And they have been a nightmare. And it it kind of just sparked our interest to say, if you're a beginner in the cricket world at all and you purchase these one-off cut files from people and they're incorrect, you won't know they're incorrect and you'll try and use Until them. Until you have, have a craft fail. And have project fails and crush your beginner cricket confidence yeah. and that is it's just heartbreaking to me you have to find quality cut files and if you can't find them make them and you can make them with the illustrator course well but, and that's the thing like yeah. it, once you know how to make cut files if you get a file from somebody if you purchase one or have already purchased one and you open it up and it's a mess you can look at it pretty much and be like okay well i can fix it this way i can make it work this way um i pulled the excess fabric off of that looks great but i'd already had two cuts so i'm not going to use them um, but yes, let us know if there are any questions about, um, the course, about the membership, 
anything like that, we would love to answer those for you while we finish this project. I went ahead and pressed this one. Um, I taped our sublimated sheet to this piece using heat resistant tape. And then I'm gonna go ahead and lay it here. You can use a Teflon sheet if you want to, you do not have to. Um, we'll just go ahead, or it's, I'm being impatient again, it's still not at 400. <laughs> Becca. Um, Linda noticed that we surpassed 14,000 YouTube did. subscribers. Uh, during our live the other day, Becca, we only had 10. 10 subscribers. I'm like, come on, people, get us yes. there. We had like, I think, four left when the live ended. But Rachel, um, we had a, we had 100 new subscribers just, just yesterday. Did you notice that? Yeah, Becca, honestly, honestly. We have had 228 more subscribers in the last 28 days than our, our normal average is. So you all are subscribing to the YouTube channel at an amazing rate. Our growth is phenomenal. We're super excited. Um, and if you want to join Oak and Lamb but financially can't do that right now, now, one great way to be a bar and to, to, to still learn and um, stay up to date on discounts and things like that. So when you are financially able to is to be active here on the page with us. So subscribe to the YouTube channel. It's free to do that. And um, you can be live with us. You can turn on notifications and be live with us every time we're live or yeah. watch our pre-recorded content when we uh, share that as well. Yeah. So, But if you're new to Cricut, you want to be here. If you're old to cricket, you want to be here. If you don't even love cricket, if you like laser cutting or sublimation or woodworking, um, anything like that, that's what we do here at Oak and Lim. We do have a brand new cricket beginner course that is amazing. It's called the O&L Cricket Academy, and it'll teach you uh, little guys that have just got your crickets, the in and outs that you need to know to master your machine. It's incredible. Yes. Yeah. Um, okay, Shirley, I have a solution for you. She said, dang, I can't make this dog pillow with my dog because she's all white. You can't. So create a smaller offset behind your puppy that's like a black or dark or something like that. So she'll pop off of that. There will be an outline around it. Right. Um, but you can still do it. So make the smaller offset, do it your favorite color, whatever you want to, or even do the whole offset blue or something like that um, so that the whole pillow is blue and then the puppy is in front. Yeah. See what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. And Jenny says, can we make it using different colors? How would you change the colors? Um, Yes, you can. Yeah. Um, so what you would have to, you would have to pull it into a, a, um, <laughs> program. That word is so hard. A program like Illustrator. I do know Shirley has Illustrator and Silhouette, so she can do that. So you would pull it into Illustrator, change the color there, and then you're going to print it straight from Illustrator. I printed it from Illustrator anyway. Or Inkscape if you have Inkscape. Or Canva. You could do Canva. You could do um, Silhouette Studios, Affinity Designer. It's finally at 400. Let's get this thing sublimated. Um, are you answering, Terry? I am. Okay, great. Jan's got them talking quilts here in the comments, and it's over my head. I don't know nothing about quilting. I'm, I'm, well, They're asking some good questions, though. I'm glad Jan is here is all I got to say. I haven't even looked at the comments. Hold on. Not that I can really answer, though. I Lord knows I can't. Lots of people today, I've noticed, Christina, you're probably the third or fourth person who said they're cleaning today or they're taking their Christmas stuff down and cleaning uh, do you all keep it up until like through the New Year's? Do you take it down? I my my dad called it, Becca. You're gonna laugh. My dad called me. He knows me too well. At 10:45 the day after Christmas, and he said, "What are you doing?" I said, "I'm just sitting here. What are you doing?" He said, "Is your Christmas tree still standing?" And I said, no, sir. And then I heard my mom laugh like I was on speaker. They had made a bet that I did not have my Christmas tree up, and I didn't. They were mine right. would normally be down, but this week got. <laughs> different yes and yes. um i want mine down i'm hoping wayne will take it down tomorrow while we're live here which by the way if you don't know we are having a new year's eve live tomorrow it's at 12 o'clock we are making a fun disco ball out of paper i'm going to upload the svg and let you all pre-prep some stuff because there are lots of pieces to yeah, it if you want to make it with yeah, us so if you can make it with fun. us um i'll put information about that in the private facebook group 
this afternoon for you all. Um, and anyway, 12 o'clock, 12 p.m. Eastern is when we will be live here. And it's only going to be probably an hour, hour and a half, not a super long live. We yeah. just wanted to make sure that we were with you all. We'd love to be with you on holidays because you're like our family. And we wanted to make sure that we shared the last day of the sale with you all yes. for that day as well. Okay. Yeah. Um, overhead, if you want to just go, we're going to remove this paper so that we can see how it has transferred, <gasps> sublimated over. Look at, look at her. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Look how cute. That is beautiful. It is beautiful. That turned out amazing. Okay, so now what I want to do is just mirror this like this. Kat, um, you can't. Well, I'll let Beck answer this because I don't really, I don't really know. I don't want to step on. Anyway, anyways, let's hear. Um, you close the press while it's still hot. Are you allowed to do that? I do. Cat, Becca does. <laughs> I mean, you could open it. I know the auto press says to keep it open, but keep it closed. Keep it. I get confused. Keep it open. Keep it. Oh, oh! Now she's paranoid. Now she's where she opened. It. I don't know. I had to close it so I could move it. <laughs> oh yeah, no, you can't move that thing while it's open. I still have the scar of burning my hand on that. Um, I'm using sewis clips to just clip this around here because I'm live and will likely have an issue. Um, otherwise, I would probably just sew it. So Not you're gonna, doing pretty sides together. Pretty sides together. Um, see how if you if you want to go overhead, they you just are, need yeah. they need to line up because if if we flipped one and not the other, the pillow is all going to come out right. Okay, so what I'm going to do um, is actually leave a spot open so that we can stuff this pillow. We want to leave a spot open. Probably right here is where I'll leave open. That's I think what I would do the least when I'm sewing is I get. I can you would go sew and the I whole get thing. the groove and I just sew yeah. the whole thing and I'm like, oh yeah. no. Yeah. Um, you're not gonna be able to see this. So she's just gonna go to the front facing camera. I'm just doing a quarter inch uh, seam allowance all the way around. Regular, nice old stitch. This is a Brother XR9550. It's a quilting machine. Um, it comes with a fun table type attachment that I do love. This machine, when I bought it, was under $200. It's super easy to thread, super easy to learn on. I've even used it. I love this machine, I really do. I have a very, very, very expensive fof at home that my mother gifted me when how she- How old is that thing? Oh God, mom, how old is it? 30, <laughs> 25 years, it's old. You remember, I remember when Becca drug it to make her gonna learn years ago yeah. to film something and we had to cut out, or I think I silenced the entire clip because it was so loud, it was shaking the it's entire sh it's sh yeah. shaking the camera. It's like a tank. It's <laughs> never gonna die. But I say all that to say, I have that at home, but I want to replace it with this because yeah. it's lighter, it's easier to use, all this stuff. Yeah. So I'm just gonna do a seam here. Rach can answer any questions um, and chat while I do this because I won't be able to look at comments. Well, I mean, Becca's trying to tell me what camera to be on. I mean, she's really trying to just do produce for me anyway. So yeah. you know, maybe I should just turn my mic down and be quiet. Let you take over. <laughs> maybe you should, Rachel. Maybe, yeah, maybe I should. Also, why did you pick Granger? We all have the cutest dogs. Well, Elliot's white, and I didn't want to do the offset. That's true. And yeah. Rawlings looks scared in every photo, so that Stop. wouldn't have been cute. <laughs> I could have done Smalls, but I didn't have a picture of him, like his statue picture. That's what Beckett calls him. Oh. If he's sitting up, you know, like a, yeah, yeah, a cat yeah, yeah, does, yeah, yeah, he's yeah, like, yeah. Mom, what? Smalls looks like a statue. Oh my yeah. gosh. He's a good marshmallow, smarshmallow baby. Smarshmallow. Yeah. It's awkward. Yeah, okay. Yes. <laughs> well, Granger is adorable here. There's no denying that. Yeah, I was sitting at Anna's house last night and was like, oh, I need to, <laughs> I need to prep for this live. And so I looked at her Facebook and she had tons of photos. So I took one. Um, and Penny, this show machine is linked in the description below. What, do you know right off the top of your head what the numbers are on this machine, though? XR9550. She didn't know that off the top of no, her I head, looked. people. She looked, looked at it. That's cheating. It's right in front of me. Uh, your mom's wanting to critique you if you want to hear that. Let's hear it. She said, Becca, did you start close to a straight part so hand stitching the opening would be easier? There's no straight part, Mom. It's all curved. That'd be a that'd be. Otherwise, a I would team. have done that. That is a great point. 
Also, uh, you know, I left that opening at the bottom, but I started at the top. So now my opening is going to be at the top because oh. uh, I wasn't really paying attention, but that's okay. Yeah. 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 Also, Jan, if you're a member and you have made a little about me post in the Facebook group, first of all, I have thoroughly enjoyed reading them. Same. Love it. It's like a, it's like a welcome some Post of you all, all are as in. wordy as we are, and it's hysterical. And I love it. I, do I too. love getting to know you guys and, and hearing about you. So if you are an Oakland member, join the Jan train is what people are saying. Because Jan was the first one to do it. She started a, a a meet the flock trend, and it's phenomenal. It's amazing. Okay, I've left an opening at the top. I'm gonna flip this out. Flip it. Flip it. This is an exact science, you know, you just beat it until it comes out. Um, Rachel, should we do about me sections? Should we do a welcome? You I feel like they know us. They could probably write them for us. That would be interesting. I would, I would love to see that. Uh, yeah, that would be funny. I, I was thinking that, but then I thought they literally, they know very intimate details about my life. I right. don't know what else you guys would want to know. But then I'm like, know. well, some of our newer members may not know as much about us. That's very true. I don't know. Though. But we do have a bio section on our website How that you can also that? look at. Okay, now I'm gonna I'm gonna stuff this with our poly. Do you all like a fluffy pillow or do you like a limp pillow? I I don't like a limp pillow. Not to sleep on. Well, I know that. How many pillows do you sleep with? One. Me too. I used to sleep at the time, but then I got neck issues and. Oh, well, well, you're a, what are you? I'm a belly sleeper. I'm a belly sleeper. I love, oh, nine months of not sleeping on my belly. That was. Oh, I would have. That was not nine months. That's a big exaggeration. I could sleep on it for, I would say three fourths of my pregnancy, but um, felt like nine months. And everybody's like, oh, get the pregnancy pillow. Get the, no, no, no. I'm a belly. I'm a belly sleeper. Yeah. My arms go numb the whole nine yards. Yeah. 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 And, of course, they have, like, pillows where you can, like, a hole in the bottom to put your arm through. Not the it same. It feels awkward to me. And I'm kind of picky about my pillow. I mean, oh, like, I, I don't was, like a flat pillow. Mm -mm, yeah, I had the same pillow for, I'm going to say, a decade. And then my mother-in-law uh, scared me about dust mites. And then she bought me a new pillow. You can wash some pillows. I don't think you could. Oh, it looked like a used tea bag. <laughs> it was it was rough-looking pillow, Megan. Rachel. What? That's hysterical. <laughs> it looked like a used tea bag. <laughs> but this new one's great. Great. It's like one of those cool touch pillows, so it stays cool. It's yes, that's foam. what I have. I love yeah. them. Well, actually, no, 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 I don't have it anymore. I got a Casper pillow. Do you guys know what a Casper pillow is? I've heard of Casper um, pillows. They're a little expensive, well, but well, I... Well, you sleep on it. Yes, you know? and I got to the point where my neck hurt and my back hurt all the time, and I was like, you know what? I would pay $1,000 if I could find a pillow that I really, like, could sleep on and not be in pain with. So uh, I did a little researching and <laughs> fell in love with that one. Um, where do we get our shirts for sublimation? JiffyShirts.com. I actually just ordered from them last night. Um, they ship really quickly. They're very affordable. You can refine your search on JiffyShirts.com by 100% polyester or high count poly if you want to. You can also refine your shirts by brand, color, um, length of like sleeves and different things like that. So I really love Jiffy. They also have an app that I have. Um, that makes reordering really easy because you know sometimes you're like, oh, what shirts did I order last time? And then you have to go find the email or log in. And, and your let me account. tell you, on Jiffy shirts, there's a bajillion. There's a ton. Yes, I love the Heathered Bella canvas. They are a high poly count. They feel really amazing. They fit really nicely, and um, they sublimate really well. But I normally just get them for uh, my friend Angie to do her DTG on the direct to garment transfers. Um, I'm just going to grab a sewing needle. I have to be honest. I am not amazing at closing up a pillow. I normally hand it to my mom and beg her to do it, but I'm going to do it here. We're going to do an invisible stitch here oh. and close this thing up. You know, mom to, answered the question about, I don't remember what the actual thing was, but 
something about cricketing. Who does your cricketing? How do you get your cr- I don't remember something. Mom's like, I just have Becca do it. So I do her cricketing <laughs> stuff and <laughs> she does my sewing stuff. There you go. Seems yeah. like a good even trade to me. I can sew. She's just better at it. It's a whole lot quicker. I am doing a double because I always do a double. If I don't, <laughs> it comes off. So mom a double would not. Knot? Um, double strand. Mom would only do a single. Yes, baby. No, you can't, but we're almost finished. Thank you. Love you. And then what you want to do is make sure that your fabric is folded over like this because you don't want to sew it like this and have that raw edge. So you want to fold this over. You may want to pin it or use your sewist clips to pin it down so that you're not fighting it the whole time. Um, you can also take like your mini easy press and press that seam down. If that makes it easier for you, then do that. Um, but just go ahead and kind of fold over like this. I'm going to pin it. Not and pin it, and Michael, it. no, we love cotton. Cotton shirts are great for sublimation. Uh, of course, you do need more poly than cotton. Uh, I like a good poly cotton blend myself, like if I'm wearing it every day. I just like the way it feels better. Yeah. It's now, a little I, softer. I hate the feeling of 100% polyester shirts. Oh. Get them off of me. Those swift wick tight. Oh, ugh, it's terrible. James, love, he, James would live in them and die in They're them. They're clingy and weird. I do not like them. I think on men, you know, that's better. That's yeah. fine if that's mm. what you like. But no, I can't do it. I can't do it. Okay, I'm going to start in here. I start actually underneath. If I can get to it. There we go. Just bad gun it. It went through. Hold on. It's gonna go through again, so I'm gonna have to. There we go. And then you just take little bits. And so just on the inside, you're not gonna go all the way through. You don't go through the out uh, right here. You're just gonna go through this first layer like this and just sew a little bitty stitch on that one side. Now you can do a running one if you want to and do both sides. I'm not that talented. So I'm just gonna do each side individually like this. Little bitty bit there. It's hard to see because I'm over the table. Brenda said, my daughter-in-law loved the salt dough prints I made <gasps> of my grandson's foot did and hand prints. My family loved them too. I loved them. Which one did you end up giving to who? I gave, I made more of the, like the hand print did that you? looks like um, Christmas trees. Yes. So I gave them out. Um, Everyone loved them. Did you I, give Mama B one? No. Is she sad? Probably. Pro well, I mean, she doesn't really put handmade ornaments on her tree. Oh, yeah. She's too bougie. She's way... I should have taken a picture of her tree. She It probably took her all day to put that sucker up. Yeah? I mean, bougie. Gorgeous. You know. She's but, a classy lady. Um, no, I, I love making them. I think it's going to be a really great Christmas tradition. You know, it would be fun to have a whole tree, like a small tree or something, like in your kitchen or something yeah. like that of them as, oh, you yeah. know, as he gets older or you add other kids to the mix. Or... I can just picture in 10 years having so many little feet on there. Did you so yank anyone? No, I no, I did not yank him because I can't leave my bird out either. So then I would have, have had to get my bird out and try and do, you know. Would Al have appreciated that? I don't think that Al would have let me do a talon print on a... Salt dough. On, on salt dough. I don't think that he would have appreciated I'm that. pulling this back, and you all are just going to have to imagine. Because I can't see. I mean, I've shown you. That's just you what you're some, doing. You need back some readers, and forth. Becca? Back and forth. Do I need what? You need to go get some readers at the Walgreens. You need to see better? I can get you some readers. Can you see that, Rachel? <gasps> <laughs> I can't blur that out and post now. This is live. We're going to get demonetized. Oh, no. No one will say anything. <laughs> no one will say anything. You were pointing at something, weren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You to reach that for you? I couldn't. I, my finger, I was holding a needle. <gasps> Did you get a cramp? 
probably what it was. Happens all the time. <laughs> it it does. She seems to get a cramp in that finger a couple times when she's around me. Just stretch it out. Yeah. yeah. It's a whole thing. <laughs> Oh gosh! Listen, okay. So the salt the ornaments there. What they were? They did have a little bit of um, a little bit of cracking sometimes. So your oven could have been too hot, or maybe or you, you didn't have enough water in your dough. Water in your. Uh, who's answering this question? <laughs> or maybe, mind you, mind you. <laughs> uh, I you, made you're these, the one who had to make them for six hours. I know. I made these with the kids, right? I put too much water in mine, and. <laughs> They took like six hours to cook, honestly, six hours. So after like three hours, Fallon says, maybe you should call Rachel and ask her how to do it. <laughs> and I said, maybe I should, but, but I'm not I going should. to. Of course not. Of course not. Terry, I did answer this, but that is totally fine. Uh, I'll just kind of answer it broadly as well. If you have a membership with Oak and Lamb and you would like to either upgrade from monthly to yearly or you're a yearly member but not a founding flock member who get the best deal uh, and you wanted to extend that membership, email us hello at oakandlamb.com and we will help you do that. Just let us know what you're wanting to do and we'll email you back. Thank you so much, Terry. Thank you. Almost finished. Anna's going to love this. No, oh, she's not. She's never going to use it. I'll take a picture of this for the thumbnail and it'll get put in the trash can. <gasps> Don't say that about it will. the ranger. It will. Bex, turn that sound down, bud. They don't want to hear your Nintendo. So, do you all stay up to watch the ball drop at New Year's Eve? Like, what do you do? I was wondering that, too. Um, I do not. I'm rarely up past... If I make it to 11, it's just a miracle. To 11? Yeah. Well, if you make it to 11, you're just an hour away from the new year. Rachel, 11 is just miserable for me, so. <laughs> oh. Well, that's very sweet, Fallon. Uh, Stacy said, I could have a first. pillow. Let me see. Go overhead. Let me see. Oh, well, she looks great. She's a cutie. Look at Granger. And yeah, of course, you could do this, I'm sure, like I said, but like with people instead of animals. You could do a fat head. Oh. That would be fun. That would be fun. Yeah. I should have put more stuffing in her. You guys just a want a bunch of fat heads for your couch. <laughs> just sprinkle all your family's fat <laughs> Sitting heads on your <laughs> face. Like, <Yeah>. what? <laughs> anyway, um... Nope, I don't wait for the ball drop. I normally am up again by then, so I'll turn on it. Otherwise, yeah. Um, thank you, Miss Shirley. Um, anywho, this didn't take as long as I thought it would. I'm very happy. I thought it was going to take so long. It Holy, didn't. No, it, it didn't. was great. It was great. It was amazing. Um, for those of you, I'm going to, like I said earlier, we have our... Disco ball project that we're making tomorrow during the live, and I am going to share the SVG. So go ahead and prep that. You're going to, I'll put the information, you're going to need 60, 60 pieces cut out. So it is a little bit of a, I mean, you're not doing anything. You're just putting the paper on there and cutting it, and then you have to fold and glue it together. But it's really, it's kind of like a mindless thing. It's really fun. Um, thank you, Miss uh, Luria. Oh, we, oh. We lost camera one. Did we? Sure did. Did it go back? No. Uh, move Granger's mouth and like you know act like you're talking for Granger or something. <laughs> Thanks for being here. Oh. Thank you. Mm. Her tongue's out. It's weird. It's That's hard to true. talk with yeah. your tongue out. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, thank you all for being here. Um, we'll see you tomorrow at 12 p.m. Eastern for the fun live. Have a fantastic Friday, everyone. Join the membership if you haven't already. Take advantage of the code. Let us know if you have any questions. Talk to you later. Bye.